What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Unix shell scripting. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to do some simple math. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go to my blue folder in the root directory. That's where I do all my work. So cd forward slash blue. Now let's launch the text editor. To do that we're going to type in vim, hit space. We've got to give our text file a name. I'm going to call mine math10.sh, right? hit enter. Now we're in the text editor, right? To be able to enter characters, we have to first type in I. That'll bring us in insert mode. Now we can start typing away. In the beginning of every shell script program, you should have this uh, hashtag symbol, this exclamation point, forward slash B-I-N, forward slash S-H. Hit enter, type in clear, C-L-E-A-R, hit enter again a couple times. Now we can start the program. Now I'm going to declare a few variables. The, the first variable I'm going to declare is variable 1 and I'll make this variable equal to 5. Now whenever declaring a variable in the shell scripting you can't have any spaces or else it won't work. Now let's declare a second variable. I'm going to call this variable 2 and I'll make this variable equal to 10. All right? Now I have two variables. Variable 1 is equal to 5 and variable 2 is equal to 10. Now I want to add these two variables together. So if you guys are familiar with other programming languages, you normally would uh, start by declaring another variable, right? I'm going to declare a variable sum, and I want sum to be equal to variable 1 plus variable 2, right? Now, again, when invoking a variable, you have to have this dollar symbol in front of it. When declaring a variable, you don't. Only when you're using the variable, you have to have the dollar symbol or else it won't work. Now, uh, theoretically, sum should be equal to variable 1 plus variable 2, which should be 15, right? So let's find out. I'm going to echo sum. Again, dollar symbol because I'm invoking this very variable. So it should print out 15 on the screen. Let's test it out. I'm going to hit escape. Use the colon, WQ, that's for write and quit, hit enter. Now, since we created a new file, we have to give this file a permission. To do that, we're going to type in chmod, hit space, use the dollar, I'm sorry, hit space, use the plus symbol, x, hit space again, our file name, which was math10.sh, hit enter. Now we can launch the program. To do that, we type in dot forward slash, and our file name, which was math10.sh, hit enter. And as you can see, it, it printed something on the screen, but it wasn't 15. It was 5 plus 10. Now, I'm going to explain to you why it printed out 5 plus 10 and not 15, but let's launch the editor again. VIM space and our file name, which was math10.sh, right? So it should have printed out 15, but the reason it didn't print out 15 is because by default, uh, shell scripts treat a, a variable as a text. Like if you declare a variable 5, it would be text 5. It wouldn't treat it as an integer. Now there are a few things we could do to make the program treat the variable as an integer. I'm going to show you guys two versions. Now, the first version I'm going to sh show you right now. Let's hit I so I can insert. Let's delete the sum equals over here. Let's just get this out of the way. The first version we have to type in uh, two parentheses, right? We use the two parentheses. Within the two parentheses, we're going to declare our, our variable sum again, equal to, with no spaces, equal to variable 1. We're going to use the dollar symbol again because we're invoking the variable. Variable 1 plus dollar symbol variable 2. Now we're going to end it with double parentheses. Now, let's test it out. Let's hit escape colon wq hit enter now we're going to do dot forward slash the file name math one zero dot sh hit enter and it worked it printed out 15. now let me show you the second version i'm going to go to vim our file name which was math 10 dot sh i'm going to delete this second ver i'm going to delete the first version and show you the second version right now first insert mode let's delete this Now, the second version, we're going to type in let, let, hit space, let is a command. Now, we're going to type in our, our variable again, which was sum equals to variable 1 with 
the dollar symbol, VAR1. Again, plus VAR2, right? So this is the second version. Let hit space the variable name equal to variable one plus variable two. Let's test it out. Now it's gonna echo uh, some, let's see, what, let's see what happens. So again, I'm gonna hit escape, colon, WQ for write and quit, hit enter. Now dot forward slash uh, math 10 dot sh to launch the program, hit enter. And it worked, it printed out 15 again. So that's the second version. Now let's uh, launch the editor again. Now, th those are the two versions that I know of. There could be more, but those are the two that, that work, that I got to work. Now, and you can replace this uh, plus symbol with, let's say, let's say a minus, right? If you want to subtract, sorry, you can, let's say, so I'm not in insert mode, so I can't edit. Okay, now, you can replace this plus symbol with, let's say, a minus symbol if you want, if you want to subtract the two. So... You would just delete this minus so 10 would you would subtract variable one with variable two if you want to let's say multiply you would use the, the this backslash symbol let's first delete this you use this backslash symbol right then this star symbol which is like the multiplication symbol now you could delete that if you want to divide we would use this divisions symbol right here and that would divide and there's another divide there's a divide and uh and print the the remainder that would be this uh percent symbol if you want just to uh, print out the remainder that and then you would use this percent symbol here so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm Rasim from rossmartech.com and thanks for watching